Hi guys, this is Velvet Sky and you are watching AJWF on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe and I like this channel so much because I know and I have seen they have a huge Velvet Sky collection. So they are okay in my book. So again guys, like and subscribe. You will not be disappointed and we'll see you there. Bye. Welcome back guys to another AJWF. Today I'm at the deep in the UK so I thought why not do an intro from here? Surrounded by the sharks, it reminds me of Shark Boy and TNA Impact, which leads to this video, I guess. We're taking a look at the Jacks when they had the line, the Impact Wrestling figures. Let's go. So my favourite during this Impact Jacks kind of period was, of course, Jeff Hardy. He's my favourite to this day. He had an up and down run at TNA, didn't he? Uh, we won't mention the bad times. But yeah, 2010 is when Jax took the impact line. Uh, they were WWE before, so let's get going. We'll start off with Jeff. As we've got my favourite wrestler, Jeff Hardy. All his impact wrestling figures here. Some of my favourites, I've got to admit, the Jax line that did it. Short-lived, but look at these ones, for instance. You can just see there. This one's the glow-in-the-dark Jeff Hardy. Cool with the face paint and everything like that. Really cool figure. Love that one. Then they came out, I think this one was straight after it pretty much. This one's a complete glow in the dark. You can see that there. Basically his face, skin, everything glowed up I believe. I've never let it out of the packet, it's still in there. Another one, I could not find this anywhere. This across the line one here. Now that Jeff Hardy, this is signed. Don't know if it's legit. I bought it like that. Um, I only wanted the Jeff Hardy. I haven't opened it yet. I would, because the signature isn't that good, is it? It's a bit worn out. Style of the old... Um, Sharpie, shall we say? Um, but yeah, and this one as well, another mint on guard one. But these special editions, Jax really did knock it out of the park. A bit like they are with the AEW, think like the Blood Brothers ones. You know, they're just a bit different, the design of the packaging. I like it, really cool. Well, here's the loose ones. This one's in the Legends line, a really cool Jeff Hardy one. If you haven't got that, recommend getting that one. I think the pink really pops. The two pack with Brother Matt, really cool figure. I don't know if anybody. I feel like this one wasn't as popular as it should have been. Really good figure at the time. And this one that came with his mask as well. Short-lived gimmick, really. But the fact we got that as an accessory, really cool. Of course, I'll show you underneath as well. I think it's a bit of an iconic face paint, if I'm honest. You can see that there. Really cool one. Yeah, so these Jeff Hardys in the Impact line, some of my favourite, I'm not going to lie. really love them. Um, if you haven't got any of these Jeffs and you are a Jeff Hardy fan, Try and find them because they really are good in person. The face paint, the detail, really good, guys. I've just shown you a few pictures here of a few of the Jeff Hardys I've picked out because I think the face scans and the face paint on them are really good. Some of the Mattel ones that they've done more recently are a bit iffy, I think, on the face paint. But these Jax ones back in the day, I thought they were really good. And then we'll grab those ones that are still mint in the box. We'll take some pictures here for you just so you can enjoy them in all their glory. So that's the Jeff Hardy's about wrapped up for you. What we'll do now is move on to the women's division in TNA Impact, which is the knockouts. Now, obviously, I'm a massive Velvet Sky fan, but enjoy. Well, guys, here's the TNA knockouts. To say we only got 13 series of this line, of course, we got the cross the line, the special editions, etc., but not many. Um, we got plenty of the female wrestlers, which is really cool. And anybody that knows me knows I'm a massive Velvet Sky fan. Now, Here's the Velvet Skies, the minting card, or mint on card, should I say. Uh, three of them, three in 13 series. She did well, and I'm glad she did well, because obviously I'm a huge fan. Uh, my favourite is probably the first one, the pink one, just there. I think it's just iconic. I think a Velvet Sky, that's kind of the, the attire I think of, if I'm absolutely honest. But some of these figures, really good. Also worth pointing out, they made a Dixie Carter, President Dixie Carter. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's random, so random, that's why it had to come into the collection. Um, it's not that bad a figure, really. The fact she got one, you know, it's probably the one and only she'll get, so love it, great figure. Uh, Gail Kim, did she get a... WWE one, I'm just thinking about it, I don't think she did, did she? Could 
be wrong. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. I think the lightness on it is brilliant. Uh, Brooke Tessmacher, really good figure. Really good figure. You see here, she's got like the kind of American style, the stars and the stripes, red, white and blue. Cool. Uh, Madison Rain, who's part of the Beautiful People with Angelina Love and Velvet Sky. Of course, Daphne that came in across the line series with Stevie Richards. Really cool figure. For those that haven't got it, that is a good one. So grab it if you can, that's all I'd say. But yeah, these are obviously the uh, loose Velvet Skies. She is the AJWF 24-7 champion, hence the title she's wearing. But yeah, these figures are great. I can't fault them at all. This one, I believe, it was the, I think it was the second to last series, if, don't quote me actually, but I think it was. We saw the prototype, and it was a lot more detailed than this. Uh, so when this came out, I think I was a bit disappointed, I'll be honest with you. But it is what it is, isn't it? At one point, um, those that haven't already, check out my Velvet Sky collection video. Um, I've got plenty of Velvet Skies that I customed over the years. I ain't no pro, but, you know, I thought, once they stop making them, that's it. I'm not going to get any more, so I might as well make some myself. Now let's move across to the male side of the roster and check out some of the Impact Wrestling Superstar figures. Right guys, here is some of, most of, if not all, either in front of you. Or I've got some just off camera here, which I'll show some of the ones off. Uh, I'm not going to show them all because we will be here all day. But yeah, I think it's an underrated line. I really like the Jax TNA Impact Wrestling line. Uh, only 13 series of the single figures. This one was the last series. Mr. Anderson in the tights a bit different it'd always been in trunks and other figures so that was cool also came with the angelina love uh which i can't find today but it is on my um velvet sky video i think so i'll throw a picture up in a second if i've got it um but yeah we had they had all sorts didn't they, they had sting hogan uh foley samoa joe the dudley boys yeah, there's so many star power but i also like the fact they made some of the guys that probably the first time in the line maybe the first time they even had a figure in last time maybe but let's get on, like this guy, I think, what's his name? I'm trying to think now, I should have prepared that. Crimson, I believe. It's like covered in tats. He was, uh, I think he was undefeated for a while, something like that. It's obviously, it's been a while since I watched Impact back in this kind of era. What is it, like a decade now, probably? Uh, you had the favourites, good old Shark Boy, old Shell, yeah. Um, the jacket I put on, I think it's just a Jax one from the WWE line. Uh, but yeah, well, how toyetic is that? So cool. Good old Shark Boy, really good figure that one. Uh, who else is Toyetic? Of course, Mr. Suicide, Impact's very own creation. A master man, I think he was Christopher Daniels, wasn't he? Or rumoured, or is. Um, Curry Boy, or Curry Man, what was his name? That would have been a good figure. Uh, talking to Christopher Daniels though, here is his TNA one. Really cool figure, with the detail on it. Actually, Christopher Daniels was one of my favourites back then as well. He's great in AEW now, but back then I thought he was really cool. Um, my favourite abyss, I think they made three abysses that I can think of in my collection. They had the one that wasn't a kind of deluxe one, and then they had the two that were deluxe. Now this was my favourite of the two deluxe ones for sure. This is like the red and yellow style abyss, when he was kind of like teaming with Hulk Hogan and that kind of storyline with Hogan. Yeah, I always thought it was a really cool figure. such a monster of a figure as well if you put this alongside others it is a big so yeah abyss obviously a legend and this figure is great and put it down here out the way because if he knocks the rest over we've got the domino effect which would be really bad um like i mentioned earlier hulk hogan there was plenty of hogan's they released there's one in the t-shirt trousers really cool put him down there where's the other hogan's with these ones just in the red the red and yellow the normal hogan style obviously there as well uh, Sting, this was a good one. It's one of the two packs, wasn't it? This is a Sting with a purple jacket. Underneath the jacket, it's the red and black attire. Classic Sting, Crow Sting style. Really cool. Time out right there, guys. I'm going to make this a two-part video, just so you're not sitting too long watching it, really. Uh, that moment there when James Storm became TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Great moment. I'm really glad that we got this figure to represent that moment. Really cool moment. He's a really cool wrestler. Uh, like I said, this video, I'm going to do a two-parter, just so it's shorter, really. I do appreciate everybody. If you are watching, remember, big, 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 big thank you to Velvet Sky for doing the intro. She is a TNA Impact legend in my eyes, and she's one of the coolest people I've ever met. So that's all cool. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Part two coming real soon.